I've got a feeling about today. Four op shops, we're thrifting all day. You're coming out with me, I'm bringing out the camera. It's a trip to the thrift and I'm pretty excited about it. I just have a feeling that with the Christmas period now over, a lot of people are a bit on holidays, a lot of people are gonna clear out their house, take it down to the op shop, and you and I are gonna strike gold today. I can just feel it, I've got a really good feeling. If you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on Facebook, I sell on eBay, and I have a lot of fun doing it. And I have also a lot of fun putting out YouTube videos as well, three new videos every single week. So if you're here for the first time, hit that like button because it's a great way to support the channel. And also feel free to hit the subscribe button while you're at it too. It's gonna be a big episode. We're gonna do four op shops. We're gonna find a lot of good stuff today. Like I said, I can just feel it. So let's get into the first one and fingers crossed we can kick things off with a bang. First stop of the day, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about today. Uh, let's kick things off. I bought some clothing. I bought some roller blades. Now, these were an absolute steal. They were sitting in the window just out the front, and the brand is Crazy Skates. Now, Crazy Skates go on to sell very well. I've personally sold a couple of these in the past on Facebook Marketplace. These are actually an adult size, and I normally find these in the kids' sizes. So I'm gonna get a bit more than what I normally get for rollerblades, and I'm normally getting about $60. So I think I can push upwards of about 80 for these. I would say they're almost in as new condition, um, and I only paid $12. So look out for the rollerblades. They're gonna be awesome around here on the Gold Coast. Um, might sell them on Facebook Marketplace, but that was just a very good pickup for just 12 bucks. Um, I also saw I also saw this jersey and it had the tag on it, which was good. Um, it's a Spain um, home team soccer jersey. So there's no, nothing on the back, but like you, you know, if you watch this um, episode every week, I always buy my football jerseys whenever I spy them. Now this actually costs $15, but I was having a look on eBay and I believe I can get upwards of $50 for it. So I figured that would be worth the risk. I probably wouldn't have bought it for 15 if it didn't have the tags. So to find the Spanish uh, football team soccer jersey in there, that was cool. I'm always loving my jersey pickups. I found, I look, I was umming, umming and ahhing around this singlet. This was the Harley Davidson Australia uh, singlet. Now I know Harley Davidson merchandise sells incredibly fast. This is a genuine item. Um, it's a size extra large as well, which was talking to me. Um, I paid $8 for this, but there were some comps that I'll whack up here for you. Um, around the sort of the 20 to $25 mark plus postage. So look, it's not a massive um, profit there, but I figured Harley Davidson, it's probably gonna be a quick seller. And then this other one was a bit of a brand watch. Um, one that I, I just stumbled across, it looked cool. I would personally wear this um, sort of t-shirt, this sort of washed uh, black type look. Um, but the brand really caught my eye because I hadn't seen it before. So I did some comp searching, uh, Nana Judy. Hadn't heard of Nana Judy before. Let me know in the comments if you have sold this item before, but there were a lot of sales for this brand and just plain t-shirts that normally would only sell for five to $10 were comping more around the 20 to $25. And they weren't even new, they were used. So that tells me that this brand is actually one to be on the lookout for. Um, really happy to pick it up. I might continue to look for this brand depending on how well it sells, but um, it is in good condition. It is a size large and I reckon I could probably get $20 plus postage 
and this one only cost me six bucks. So we've been able to pick up three sort of clothing items. We've been able to pick up the rollerblades. The total cost there is $40. Uh, because I paid 12 for the rollerblades, 15 for the jersey. So cost per item is a little bit up, but I'm thinking we're gonna make at least about $200 for everything that we've found there. So 40 into 200, not a bad start to the day. Uh, let's push on op shot number two, just around the corner. I'm really happy with the way things have started off. So let's keep that momentum going. The music guys huge stop number two we were in shoe heaven in there you would have seen all the footage so many pairs of shoes i sifted through the books i sifted through the dvds i sifted through all of the clothing and we've come away with a number of items 77 dollars spend all up in this op shop but for good reason there is so much good stuff in here and i can't wait to get it all onto ebay i found a stack of really good men's footy boots now these are in basically as new condition i'll put the comps up here for the exact make and model now these ones were the lethal speed rs and i've paid eight dollars for these asics is a really good footy boot brand uh, look the footy boots are going to be a great one to get your hands on over the next couple of months in australia at least anyway uh, because we're coming into the football season so people are going to start to buy these for their kids for themselves over the next couple of months so keep an eye out for the footy boots that was just a really good pickup for eight dollars i'm thinking i'm going to flip that into about 50. Um, another really good pair of footy boots these are the nike hypervenoms Hypervenoms, there's different ranges of Hypervenoms. This is probably more of an entry level type shoe, um, but I've paid myself just $8 to get my hands on these. Nike is probably the best sort of footy boot you can get your hands on at, from a sense of brand. Um, so they were really good. They are looking pretty good condition as well. Uh, the size of all of these footy boots weren't a concern. These are a size eight, so that's not too bad. I like to buy shoes that are a size eight and up, and I don't really buy anything under that. Um, I've also found another pair of footy boots. Oh, these were probably the best footy boots that I actually found. They were the Mercurials. So the Nike Mercurials. These are more top end. Uh, if you can find, oh, if you can find the Mercurial name, these Nike boots are going to go for a whole lot more than 50 bucks. I'll probably go upwards of 70 free postage on these. Uh, they are a size nine and a half as well. So that was just a perfect purchase. Uh, they're a very good quality pair of boots and they were just $6. Of all the boots, they were the cheapest. So it just goes to show the guys in the op shop don't really know too much about their footy boots, in this one at least anyway. Um, I found the Nike Air Max, another great pair of shoes. These are in great condition. It's got the shock resistance there as well. Um, really good quality shoe. They're gonna go on to sell for 50 or $60. Nothing wrong with these. I've paid just seven and they are a size eight. So that's a really good buy as well. And then I found the Adidas as well, the Adidas shoes. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's an ultra boost, but it does say boost uh, in there. So it's a, it's a 
it's a form of Adidas shoe, but I don't, I'll have to have a look into it and have a look at the, the style number. But um, again, in like new condition, I've paid just $6 for these. So every single pair of these five shoes will sell for $50 plus. So we're looking upwards of $250 plus and they all cost an average of $7. So I'm basically, I'm 35 in for $250 plus in sales. And given the time of year, I think they're all gonna move really, really quickly. And I'm not even gonna have to do too much cleaning on those either, which is another really good thing. Buy good quality, don't buy any damage, and you'll go a long way to getting a faster sale. Um, I also found some really good clothing. I speak about the brand Nina Pasadena a lot. And just to prove the point, I did find a pair of Nina Pasadena, um, basically like chino or long pants. They're not really denim jeans or anything like that, but it's got the tag on it. And they're $160 jeans. So to find $160 worth of tagged Nina Pasadena pants for $10, happy days. I'm gonna try and get 80, maybe 70 most, uh, maybe $80 free postage um, because they've got the tags. So absolutely stoked to find Nina Pasadena, very much looked after and sought for on eBay. Um, I've also found the Levi Strauss pants as well. These are some jeans, um, they're the 568s, 32 waist, 34 length. So a really good size with these ones. They are in great condition as well and there were comps on eBay around the $40 mark. Uh, I've paid $7. Yeah, I've paid $7 for these jeans. So there's gonna be at least, I would say about $30 uh, worth of profit in those. Um, I found another jersey. <laughs> so much stuff in this op shop. It was awesome being in there. Um, I found this jersey as well. Sunderland uh, FC in the European Football League, um, Premier League. That's a, that's a cool jersey. It's a size medium, so it is on the small side, but I only paid $5 for it. So I had to do that. You know I love my jerseys. Um, oh, I also found I also found Mrs. Brown's Boys too. Now, I do start to look for DVDs a little bit more than I have in the past. These Mrs. Brown's Boys are seasons one, two, and three, and they were going for about 30 bucks. I've spent $6, so I think there's enough wiggle room in there to make a few dollars on those. Easy one to list as well, the DVDs, so I do like to get my hands on those. And then I found a couple of Minecraft books as well. Now, I've paid, I think, $3 and $4 but they sell for around the sort of 20 to $30. So I figured for about 40 to $50 worth of value, going in at about five or $6, I'm happy to make that pick up as well. Minecraft is very, very popular at the moment. And then uh, Roblox as well. Um, this book was going for $20. I've paid uh, just the $2 there. You might not see it. I've paid $2 for this one and it goes for $20. So I picked that book up as well. It's a gaming book. The gaming books go pretty well. Um, so three books, a couple of DVDs, three DVDs, uh, a heap of clothes, the Nina Pasadena, and five pairs of footy boots for $77. Well over $400 worth of value in, in all of that, and I've paid 77. So there's a profit there of about 300 to $350 when it's all said and done. So amazing what you can do walking into an op shop. I think it's obviously post Christmas. A lot of people are cleaning out their stuff and obviously the, the op shops are teeming with good items. So definitely get out thrifting. It's a great way to go about your sourcing. And um, yeah, I'm seeing a really good return here today. So big one there for op shop number two, really stoked about it. Let's move on to op shop number three and we'll keep adding to what is a really good day so far.
huge stop number three. That was unbelievable. I've spent about an hour in there, but geez, I've got some good stuff. And big shout out to Trish. Thanks so much. She's given me $10 off just because I've walked out with a massive bag of goodies. Here we are. Let's get in the car. I'll show you what I got. Man, huge shout out to Trish. 10 bucks off just because I come in every Thursday. She's giving me some discount. Can't thank her enough. 75 has come down to $65 worth of purchase. Uh, and I bought so much cool stuff. Um, if I start with the DVDs, I spent about 45 minutes in there hunting through these DVDs. And I've come up with some absolute gems here. Um, there's a few more here. I think I bought 10 DVDs and she charged me a dollar for every DVD. Um, so if I, if I go through a few of them now, I have always known that horror DVDs, certain horror DVDs can go on to sell really well. And I've looked in that many op shops over the last few months and I've never been able to come across any good ones. But I've been able to find a few today and I'll put the comps up here for you guys to have a bit of a look at that go really, really well on eBay. Now, a few of them are this one. We've got Dawn of the Dead. So Dawn of the Dead, I think he was actually the best of the bunch. Comps will let you know, but I think he was upwards of $50 for this used copy DVD. Uh, so that was ridiculous. I found this one as well. Um, the Return of the Living Dead. So The Return of the Living Dead, I think that was about $20 odd. Um, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. So I might do that as a multi-pack for 50 because I think that was about $25 as well. Um, we've got, I've got two Jason vs. Freddy's or Freddy vs. Jason. So there's a Freddy vs. Jason there. That was a collector's set and that one's just the individual um, DVD as well. So I might do that as a bundled pack as well. That would probably get about 25 as well. Um, the Toolbox Murders, I think that was about $20 from memory. Pretty much every DVD I bought was either $20 and up. And this one I couldn't find a comp on, but there was a lot of sort of um, items for this one. It was Return to Newcomb High. Return to Newcomb High DVD. So I think I'll be able to get a few for this one as well, but I'll just sort of take a stab at that one, but maybe 20 bucks on that too. So I got all of those horror DVDs and that was sifting through the big run of DVDs that were in there. Uh, but I also found in the kids uh, section, uh, a bit of nostalgia, Saddle Club. So I found three Saddle Club DVDs and I'm pretty sure they go for about 20 to $30 for the three of those as well. Or maybe even 15, I'll have to, the comps will let you know. Um, so awesome score on the DVDs, at least a couple of hundred dollars worth of DVDs there. Um, so there we are there, a massive stack of DVDs found in the thrift. Uh, easy one to list too, the DVDs. Um, I found these And One basketball shoes. These were a size 10. And One is a great brand. Uh, these should sell. They won't sell for big dollar, but I only pay $3. Um, they'll probably go for 30, I'd say. 30 plus postage. Um, now you would have seen the run of shoes in there. There were so many good shoes, um, but I, I didn't buy all of them. I almost bought every single one of them, but I paid a bit more time and attention into the size. And a lot of them were a size five youth, six youth, um, even a size five adult, size six adult, I had to pass on those because they are just too small. They don't sell as well for me. These ones I did pick up though. These are a size seven. I've paid $12 for these, but they are in really, really good condition. Um, so I'm gonna list these ones up for $50 and I'll probably get that. I'll give that a little bit of a clean to try and get that out, uh, that little bit of dirt there. But overall, these shoes are in very, very good condition. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I paid up for these. I paid uh, $15 in the end for these, but I thought the Cherry Top Nikes were a really cool shoe. Uh, these are a size seven, uh, women's seven, I believe. So soles on those are really, really good. The Nike brand, a bit of uniqueness with the Cherry pattern. I think they'll go for $50 as well. So I'm happy to pay 15 there. Um, and then I bought a couple of clothing items. This is probably the most I've ever bought on a trip to the Thrift Thursday. There is just so much going on today, and I think it's obviously due to Christmas and the fact that everyone's on holidays cleaning out their house. Uh, this one was a really cool Canterbury Springboks Rugby uh, Union jersey, this one. Uh, this will go for top dollar, I'd imagine. Maybe $30 to $40 for that one, uh, and I've paid $5. So that was really cool. That's the size... That's a size uh, extra large too, so that's awesome. I love getting the extra large sizes. I found a Leicester City uh, soccer jersey as well. That's really cool, the Puma brand on that one. Uh, that one is a size, 
large. So awesome stuff there. And I just went with a, a bit of a stab in the dark on this one. It was a Tour de France. Um, it was a legitimate Tour de France t-shirt. It's a size large as well. So I thought the size, oh, it's an extra large. So I thought the size, and I'll give this one an iron and a clean, but maybe you get 20, 25 for that. And I've only paid $5 there as well. So um, pretty much everything. Oh, I also found, you know, I also found these. I found a stack of basketball cards, a massive stack of basketball cards. And I don't really know too much about it. So she had a price tag on these for $20. So $20 for the collector cards. And they're all NBA cards from the 19, or well, 2008 actually. But you've got a LeBron James genuine jersey. That's actually his jersey on those dots, pieces of his jersey. So I've picked up that. You've got MVP cards there. So it's the upper deck. There's about 200 cards here. These are 2008, 2009 cards. There are also these Kobe Bryant cards as well. So MVP, uh, 2008, 2009 upper deck cards. There's seven versions of Kobe Bryant trading cards there. And I think in good condition, they go for about $20 each from what I was seeing on eBay. So I don't know, like I said, there's a, I've got to sift through all of these, but there are so many different uh, NBA. Um, there's a bunch of NRL cards from 1988 as well. So 1988 cards just there. So I've got to look through these. I think there's about 130 out of 150. So it's not a full set, but they are old school vintage 1988 NRL collector cards. Um, so there is just so many so many footy cards, basketball cards in here to go through. Um, don't know what the value is there, but it could be a bit, but I've only paid $20, which is good. So um, that is everything. Yep, that's everything. So we've got a lot of stuff and it's probably been the biggest trip to the thrift we've ever done so far after about 25 episodes. We're gonna do one more because I always like to do four in this trip to the thrift. It's probably gonna be a long video, but who cares? Um, we'll go to the last stop shop, see what we can find in there, and then we might just lay it all out so you guys can see everything at the end of the episode. Let's push on, op shop number four, what a day. Jeez, there is so much stuff in here. Okay, op shop number four. We are done for the day, guys. And the DVDs have really won out there at that last stop. I managed to find the entire box series of Scrubs. So we've got seasons one to nine, I think it is, for Scrubs. And I think we're looking at about 60 to $70 for these, and I've paid just a dollar each. So $9 in, a dollar each on the DVDs, and the box set of Scrubs is worth a good $80. So very happy to find every single season of Scrubs in there. Um, I also found this DVD as well. It says Robin Hood, and it's the complete second series of Robin Hood. Um, and I think, I can't remember from memory, I think that was about $25 to $30 for that one there as well. So that was a good little pickup. Um, I found you would have seen uh, The Secret Diary of a Call Girl. That one was $5 um, for the four discs. It's the complete series as well. Um, whenever you're buying DVDs, obviously the complete series is gonna be worth more value. Um, this one was going for about $100. There was a sold comp for about $98 or something. The, the comps here will tell you. Um, and I paid just $5 for this. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, the complete series there uh, for that. I've also found, I've also found uh, this one here that you would have seen as well. So Doctor Who, the 11 uh, Doctor Micro figurines. Uh, now they're all in here, the 11 figurines. Uh, you can see there. So they're all in there. And I think the comps were, t I can't actually remember. You'll, you'll see it here, but they're of real value. I think it was around 35 to $40 for those. So the 11 figurines, all fully boxed up. Um, it is a little bit old. You can tell it's had a bit of a knock around, but 
I can still sell that in used but boxed condition. Um, I also found, and I found this series as well, which was Only Fools and Horses. So Only Fools and Horses DVDs. I've got, I've got five, I've got five of seven. So I've got there's seven in the series, and I've got five of them for five bucks here. Um, if I can find the other two seasons that I need, it's worth about eighty or ninety dollars. So I've just gone ahead and I've bought them. I'm going to keep. I won't list these. I'm going to wait and see if I can find the other two, or even buy the other two on eBay, and then sell them for what is a full set, um, which the comps here will will let you know about. So the it's a good TV series to to look out for. Um, only fools and horses. Um, seven seasons to try and find um, to get top dollar. So five out of seven, not too bad there. Um, that was everything. We are done. Uh, I'm going to get back home, and before I finish this video, I'm just going to lay out everything that I bought today, just so you can get a full look at everything that was purchased, and then we'll, I'll work out as well how much I've actually spent today, because I think this could be the biggest trip to the thrift I've ever done. Um, I've never bought this much stuff in one in one haul, so. I'll take it home, I'll lay it all out, I'll tell you what I paid for it, and that will round out this video. So let's get back home. All right guys, so I've made it back home and I just wanted to take you through everything that I bought today and let you know how much I paid. Uh, this is it, have a look. So all in all, we've been able to secure about 35 items and we've spent about $180. So a heap of shoes, the rollerblades, a ton of different DVDs. Those basketball cards should go well. Got a few books up the back there as well, the Minecraft books, and then our clothing. A lot of jerseys, a lot of good sort of shorts and pants. Those Nina Pasadena's will go well. Levi's as well. So all in all, $180 spent for what is, I would say close to about $1,000 worth of uh, resale value. So. It's been a really, really successful day. So that's everything. We are done for another episode of A Trip to the Thrift. I need to go ahead and whack everything into the system here, and then I need to start listing away. So it's gonna be a big afternoon, plenty of work ahead. I'm also gonna try and edit this video and get it uploaded tonight, as I always do. Can't thank you enough for tuning into this one, guys. Hopefully you got a bit out of it. Uh, a few items picked today, which was really nice, but um, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, Sunday's episode of What's Sold, we'll catch you then. Thanks very much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.